Part 9 of this series will be about a dog breed, the Golden Retriever, that evokes positive emotions in almost everybody, even in those who otherwise aren't enthusiastic about this breed anyway. This dog breed took part in hundreds of movies, which has established their popularity, which has remained unchanged in recent decades. To know what it is up to you to choose a Golden Retriever, let's take a look at the 7 points a Golden Retriever thinker should consider before choosing this breed. The final point will also reveal whether the Golden Retriever is an ideal choice for a first-time dog owner. 1. A Brief History of the Golden Retriever Regarding the past of the Golden Retriever, there was a widespread belief that Russian circus dogs were crossed with Scottish and English Retriever breeds, and this led to their development. This idea lasted until the 1950s, when the contemporary notes of Lord Tweed Mouth, the creator of the breed, were discovered, which revealed that he had crossed the yellow retriever he owned with a representative of a spaniel breed living in Scotland at that time, the Tweed Water Spaniel. This breed was bred to be a hunting dog, their primary task was to collect the shot birds, mainly in wet, marshy areas. They are less and less used for hunting purposes, instead, they have become one of the most popular family dogs in Anglo-Saxon areas. 2. The Personality of the Golden Retriever the Golden Retriever is an extremely kind, friendly, maximally human-focused dog breed. The soul of an child dwells in every Golden Retriever, without the slightest sign of malice or aggression towards other dogs or humans, and not only in connection with their owners. A truly positive thinker, the hallmark of their personality, is the willingness to comply, they do and learn almost everything in order to make their masters happy and satisfied. If we were talking about students and not dogs, perhaps in a positive sense they would be geeks to characterize their character and behavior. 3. Size and Coat of the Golden Retriever Golden Retrievers typically weigh from 25 to 35 kilograms, with an average height of 50 to 60 centimeters. Their fur can range in color from cream to dark gold, their fur is of medium length, which cannot be curly, their bodies are typically straight, their legs, chest, belly and tails are wavy. Their undercoat is very thick and resistant to water and storms, they shed often and much, and regular maintenance of their coat is highly recommended. 4. The Trainability of the Golden Retriever Due to their compulsion to comply, Golden Retrievers can be easily and quickly trained for tasks that suit their characters. This lovely, calm dog comes out most with a trainer like his own personality, they are matched by understanding, Friendly and positive training methods, hardness and roughness are very far from this breed and not expedient. They are passionate about their owners, enthusiastic and committed, they melt away from the positive feedbacks. What they can't be trained for and aren't suitable for at all, is guard and protection work. Golden Retrievers will always welcome every stranger, who appears in the yard with erupting enthusiasm, and this can't be changed, as this is part of their character. 5. The Golden Retriever's Activity Due to their hunter past, they are very active, love to move, come and go, fool around, run with their owners, fetch ball and of course they love swimming and water. This dog needs to be moved and run regularly, otherwise they will not be happy, without enough activities they can turn inwards. Keeping them in a house with garden is ideal for them, but they can easily get used to living in an apartment, but but regular morning and evening walks are required. They can play with other dogs as well, as they are friendly with all other dogs, and do not get into fights or showdowns. 6. The Health and Lifespan of the Golden Retriever Compared to the size of the Golden Retriever, they are a surprisingly long-living dog breed, with a typical lifespan of 13 to 15 years, but it is not uncommon for individuals to be 17 to 18 years old as well, which is really a curiosity. Among them, elbow dysplasia, rarely epilepsy, and hereditary progressive retinal atrophy can occur. For which it is worth asking for the health screening papers of the parents when buying a puppy. They have no other known or characteristic diseases, they can be called a healthy breed. 7. And finally, the last question, is the Golden Retriever a good choice for a first-time dog owner? The Golden Retriever can safely be called one of the few dogs that can be honestly recommended to almost all first-time dog owners. With their above-the-average kindness and adaptability, they tolerate and accept almost all mistakes made by an inexperienced owner, 
with no negative consequences. A golden retriever, even if untrained, will never attack another dog, chasing postmen, his boldest prank will be at most a reckless chase of a pigeon. Here of course, we must also mention that the person who chooses them must not forget. This extremely cheerful breed will be happy if they can be close to their owner and family and and requires a lot of activity. The absence of all these can change their almost unshakably positive character in a negative direction. If you like the content we provide and would like to see the new part of this series, please subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit the bell button. Thank you very much for your attention.